Welcome back, scientist. Yesterday, you had an introduction into forces. We learned that forces are pushes and pulls that are happening all the time to objects here on Earth. When something is pushed, it's going away. And when something is pull, pulling, it's coming towards. So today, we're gonna see if you can identify the force. I'm gonna show you some pictures, and we're gonna decide together whether they go under push or pull. And some of them might be tricky, so let's see what we got. Our first picture is someone opening the refrigerator. Is that a push or a pull? It's a pull. You pull the door open. Now, after you're done and you're closing it, that's a push. Many objects, we do both pushing and pulling. But this picture, they are pulling open the refrigerator. Pull. All right, let's do another one. This one might be hard to see. So this is at the garbage dump. I bet that smells delicious. <laughs> that is a machine that's a big magnet that picks up metal. See that big metal piece right there? So if that vehicle is using a magnet to pick up objects, would that force be a pull or a push? It would be a pull because it's pulling objects toward it. It would be a push if it was making them go away. That one was a tricky one. So we got another pull. All right, let's see what picture we have next. Oop, here's a friend playing soccer. It looks like he's about to kick the ball. When you kick the ball in soccer, what kind of force is that, a push or a pull? Right, it's a push because you're making it go away. Push. All right, ooh, it's like from our book the other day. They're playing tug of war. Do you remember what kind of force that is? So remember, push goes away, pull comes toward. They are pulling the rope, yes, pull. Poor Mrs. Spades and her OCD about having things line up properly. <laughs> All right, ooh, look at this lady. She's doing some exercising. Do you know what the exercise is called? She could be planking, I guess, but I think she's doing a push-up. What kind of force is that, a push-up? Yeah, she's pushing herself away from the floor. It gave it away right in the name, didn't it? Push up. All right, let's look at our next picture. <clears throat> oh, look, someone shopping. They've got a shopping cart. When you are using a shopping cart, what force are you using? Push or pull? You are pushing it, right? Pushing it along. I guess you could walk backwards and pull it, but that's not the way that people typically use the grocery cart. Push. All right, we got a, two more to go. Ooh, this is a toughie. Have you guys ever been on a roller coaster? I love roller coasters. So think about if you've ever been on one or you've ever seen a roller coaster, Think about being on the roller coaster. What kind of force? Yeah, when you're sitting before the roller coaster gets off, they usually have to get up really high so that gravity can kind of take over and make you go really zoom in fast. But when you're on your way up, it is pulling you to the top. The machine is pulling you up. That was a tough one. All right, one more to go. Do you guys know what that is? This is another, another kind of complicated one. I won't say hard. This is a compass. A compass shows you the direction you're going, whether you're going north or south or east or west or even in between, northwest, southeast, all that kind of good stuff. Um, it's called a compass rose. Do you know how a compass works? 
it works on the Earth's magnetic pole. So at the center of our Earth is um, liquid metal, and it's got a, a, a gravity pulls you towards this. I mean, we haven't talked about gravity yet. It pulls towards the center of the Earth, and a compass uses magnets to um, point towards the center of the Earth. All right. So, what do you think it could be? Would a compass be using push or pull to find out the direct? the direction. Do you remember that machine? That machine used a magnet and the magnet pulled towards it. So I think the compass would also be a pull. That one right there. All right, we're all done identifying our forces. How did you do? Some of them were kind of tricky. We really had to think about them. All right, I will see you next time, scientists. Bye. I almost forgot. You have a discussion board. You are going to answer the question, what's something you can push and what's something you can pull? So head over to the discussion board and answer that question for me. Remember, you can always make a video or have somebody type out your answers, or you can try to type it out yourself. Bye.